so this morning we uh, visited Princeton and we heard a lot about um, energy consumption, um, storage, conservation, but also building, how to build better, fit for the future, less carbon intensive. You're an architect. Um, did this is, Was there anything new um, you heard, something to take away? Well, I think it's important um, that we have a closer look to the materials our buildings are built of. Um, normally they are built of concrete, And of course, it's the first step that we can use uh, concrete with a lower carbon footprint. But for example, in Austria, an administration building with uh, six floors, it could be built from timber. And in Princeton, they started it. They've built a building of the university with timber. But I think in, in a few years, it would be, it should be normal that Even huge buildings are built of renewable materials like timber. And it's a big topic for me as an architect and a big topic for us at state uh, legislators because the code of the codes of uh, construction, this is state law. Sometimes there are lots of really good ideas. Um, But sometimes you need to convince um, also your electorate that it is a good idea. For example, with timber, people might be afraid of fires. With regard to windmills, people might be afraid of, of the noise. Um, how do you convince your voters that this is the path to the future? Well, first of all, there's no alternative. That's a, that's a point. Um, we have, we we need to have a clear view on the interest of the following generations. And we have to lower our carbon footprint. We have to lower the greenhouse gases. The, and um, it's important that politicians telling people the truth. This is the first step. Um, and the second step, of course, It's a time of, for engineers, it's a time for new businesses, it's a time for good new ideas, and you can make a lot of money, but you should be the first mover or an early adopter. And um, it's our responsibility as state legisla legislators to empower our states that they will be the first movers and make money with good ideas and a good future for our children. Thank you so very much. Thank you.